Hi everyone, Melissa here with Fresh Blooming Clothing and I thought I would go through some more of my inventory and show you what I shouldn't have purchased, purchased and will still keep and will be donating or giving to thread up. So first bin is bottoms, extra small, small and medium. I just happen to have less bottoms than I do tops so I only have two bins. So. First thing are flax crops. These are a cropped pant, and flax is a pretty decent brand. These are a size small. Obviously, I'm in the small bin. And I'll keep these, I just listed them. I don't think they're gonna bring more than maybe 10 to $15, but I probably didn't spend much for them. Ralph Lauren Black Label. I was excited to purchase this. Can't remember how, I, how much I spent, but I'm guessing I spent under $5 for these. And I have them on for 50, five zero. And I'll keep these. These are pristine condition, but they're plain blue pants. They're nothing like super exciting. They have such a nice feel to the material. It's like a smooth wool. I can do smooth, smooth wool. I'm guessing it's like a wool gabardine. Um, it's real smooth and feels decent. Doesn't feel all furry and yucky. <laughs> I should not have purchased this. This isn't anything I could send a thread up. This is Vicky Lynn Barden. This is not a popular brand. It's a size medium, but it's probably like more of a small medium. It's got fruit and flowers in like autumnal colors. You know who's gonna wear this? Either somebody who's like super hip and maybe young possibly who's doing it ironically or possibly a grandmother or maybe like a mom for Thanksgiving. That's who I'm picturing wearing this. I don't know, I could be wrong. Uh, <laughs> I should be giving this away. The problem is that when I go through inventory, it's probably only like once a quarter at most. And I get so attached to things like this because I'm at the store and somebody mentioned this in the comments in another post. And you can just picture who's going to wear it or who you think is going to wear it. And that's not the person shopping on eBay. A grandmother is not shopping on eBay for a skirt that's printed with fruit on it most likely. I mean, maybe, but she would have to find my exact skirt. Am I keeping that? I'll keep it. It needs to go though. If it's still here by the next time I do this, this is going. I'm giving this to thread up. And Taylor Loft. I bought this when we were having our flooring done and I thought I would just grab a quick photo on a white background but it happened to be like one of our shutter doors. You know, the shutters going across you don't care and the photo didn't turn out like super well I'm not too excited about this it's just a pencil skirt it's in really good shape though it's a size 8 so this will be something I send a thread up might make me 50 cents to a dollar Barbara Lesser I've found Barbara's pieces before in my opinion, she's talented. <laughs> she does things that are a little bit different. And this, I love this skirt. It's, it's tie-dye, it's lagging look, it's got some asymmetrical things going. It's got this pretty frayed like, detail, drawstring. This is a great walk on the beach skirt. If anybody's looking for a skirt you want to walk on the beach with, this is it. I'm keeping it. Chico shorts, I'll keep these. I got these in the winter time. It's still winter time in most places. You know, I think it was like 86 today. What was it today? It is, right now, it's 82. But I think it was 86 um, here in Florida, which is great. It's starting to feel a little bit more summery. So I'll keep these. Chico's Platinum. Size two, so it's like their medium-large size. These are just Bermuda shorts. 
nothing too thrilling, but they're stretchy, they're comfortable. A lot of people are looking for basic shorts. Keeping. <laughs> these, these I think I'm gonna redonate. I'm gonna redonate these. The name wasn't like that important. C.E. Schmidt Workwear. It was more that they're a jean that has a full flannel lining. So if you're working outside, they smell good too. I must have washed them. You're going to be really warm, but I'm over them. I can't believe these haven't sold. These I bought for me. And if I ever do like a personal closet tour, you'll see I don't really wear jeans. They're a size eight old Navy. They're the dreamer style of jean. They're more of a bootleg, which is probably, probably why they're not selling. The hems are in pretty decent shape though. So this will go to thread up. These I just got, just got, they're LK Bennett plaid pants. This is a brand that um, Duchess Catherine, Princess Kate wears. So I thought I would take a chance. Vineyard Vines, size 10. This is another thing I've had for a few months, but this is more of a summary item, so I think I'm keeping it. It's a seersucker, seersucker, seersucker <laughs> stripe skirt. It's more of a mini skirt. I like it. Summary. Here's another seersucker. This is a J. Crew size 10. Another summery skirt I'll keep. I've only had this up for a couple months. It's their number two pencil skirt. And it's navy and blue seersucker stripes and it's got this hot pink kind of cording piping. It's a keeper. This is not a keeper. This I'm gonna send to thread up. It's Lily Pulitzer and this is their older label. So I think this is like late 90s, early 2000s. It's a small size, it's a zero. It's got citrus slices on it. It's a cute print, but I've had it for a while. I've had it probably, it's got a little fuzz on it. I probably had it for like four to six months. I kind of forgot about it. I'm gonna check eBay if this is still listed. If it is listed, I'm gonna pull it off and send it to thread up. A lot of two gap shorts. I'm gonna keep these. I'm not even gonna pull them out because I just listed these not too long ago. There are two exact pairs, which is probably why I purchased them in the same size, same style. Somebody will want shorts come summertime. This I just put up to Joe Fit, which they have a website and their stuff is not cheap. Size six, <laughs> love the color. They're like a, I think they call them pedal pushers. It's the length that's, that's making them a pedal pusher. I've got a little fuzz on these two. You know what? The hem came down a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna have to fix these. I'll pull them off eBay and fix them. I can't believe I didn't catch that the first time. It's like a little part of the inside hem that's missing, just in a little section. So glad I opened those up. Somebody might not have noticed it, but probably came out in the wash. I just put down a pair of Spanx pants. I just listed those this week, last week, some week. A vintage slip. I shouldn't have bought this. What's the label to this? Where are you, label? Here we go. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's Van R-A-A-L-T-E. I'm so bad with knowing decades, but black lace thread up is not going to take this, so I'll just have to redonate it. That's been on for a while. That was something I shouldn't have purchased. This is another thing I should not have purchased. First time with this brand. I did look up the brands, but these clearly, these clearly just need to be sent to thread up. Iceberg. They're made in Italy. They're like a size zero. I think there's a size label there. Just tiny little pleated shorts in kind of a brown color. 
thread up. What are you? Ellie Tahari. I, I should probably stop buying this label. Should I? I think I just got this. Through. I've been doing this for so many years and things sell or they don't. And there's sometimes no rhyme or reason. I think I just listed this though. This is really cute. I will keep this. It's got embroidery on it. It's really pretty. Okay, so keep that. I talked myself into it. These should go to thread up. The brand name is Isis. I think these have a flaw. I listed the flaw. I think I'm just gonna redonate these. Probably not the best brand name at this point. They're like camping pants. They're nylon, they roll up. I think the issue is that they were a little bit, they are, they're a little bit um, sun bleached in color. Like the bottoms are a little bit lighter than the tops. So those will be redonated. Another Ellie Tahari. I've had this skirt for a while. This one I am donating. The other one is cute and summery and this one is just kind of plain and boring. So this one is a denim pencil skirt, but it's not real jean material. It's like that fake denim look. Thread up will probably give me a couple dollars, I would think, for that, so worth it. <laughs> Remember that autumn skirt that nobody's buying? This is another one of those. It's not autumn. I'm gonna leave this on a little bit. This is silk and it smells like silk. When things are made of a really good silk and older, sometimes the threads smell a little bit. It smells like silkworms and it's really hard to get out no matter how you clean it. So I did disclose that and somebody looking at this type of thing probably knows what that smells like. But taking it out of the plastic, it is a little bit strong. It's tiny too. What is this? This is not a six. There's no way this is a six. This is a tiny six. It's got horses on it though. I guess I'll keep that for a little bit longer. The horses get me. If it was just a plain brown skirt, I'm not attached. The horses, ugh. Trina Turk, I'm gonna send these to thread up. I've had them for a little bit. They're not a super popular style. Not that I follow styles too much in my personal wardrobe. Trina Turk. Oh, and they are culottes. They're a wide leg culotte pants. Are culottes back in? Probably not. Okay, so those are thrown up. And the last thing, nope, not the last thing, I lied. Oh, this is going to thread up too. BCBG. This is the, the higher end. I think they have runway. This might not be the highest at this point. Max Azaria. But this probably retailed for a hundred, maybe a little bit more. It's a plaid skirt. It's a kind of a mermaid fit with an exposed zipper down the back. Uh, let's go in a thread. Plaid skirt. I love this skirt. This is one of those things that's just going to be nearly impossible to sell unless somebody's looking for this exact thing. It is heavily beaded. This, this must weigh two pounds. Emma Black. And it is this. The entire thing is beaded. It's heavy. I'm gonna put my arms down. And it's done in shades of blue, which we know I love at this point. It's in really good shape. I think it had like one tiny little patch of missing beadwork, but you would never be able to tell that. Who's looking for this? Oh, it's new. I think this is a thread up thing. I think I'm over this skirt. come over it. I'm putting it in the thread up pile. Okay, so that was all my extra small, small, and medium. I am going to repackage everything and swap out bins if the lighting still
still is okay. If the lighting's bad, you'll see me in a different outfit tomorrow, the next day. Hi again, different outfit, different day. We are still on bottoms. I'm going through and pulling some stuff out of my inventory, making sure things are actually on eBay and redonating some of it. So here we go. This I just got recently. This is a good name to look for, Neon Buddha. And they're a large gray pair of pants. Just, they look a little brown, brownish gray maybe. Boring, but they'll probably sell for about $20. I have a vest in this. I don't need a vest in my bottoms. This is the last pair of Galaxy pants I have. I ordered a wholesale lot from the Bin Pickers forever ago. And I loved the lot, you guys. If you ever get a chance to buy one of their lots on, Marco on Macari, Macari? Mercari, do it. Good lot. This is the last pair of pants. These are size 16. They're Galaxy pants. I'm keeping these. I had a bunch of the same size, so I've just been listing them when those sell, so I'm down to my last pair of pants. <sighs> I'll probably keep this for the summer. It's Old Navy, which is actually a decent seller, I find. Cute little eye cat skirt, brand new with tags. What did you retail for? Retail for $30. I'll keep that. <laughs> vintage hot pink dockers I tried these on so I will insert a photo of that you're welcome right how about that I might have gotten these at the bins or I, I don't know but they're, they're very high waist. I think the inseam, uh, the front rise is like 16, so it really came up high. More of a tapered leg. I'm gonna keep those on through the summer, pleated. All of the fun things. Eddie Bauer shorts. These are just a basic olive green short. Again, I'll keep these through the summer. I think I have these at $8, nothing spectacular. I don't have these listed. The other night I was just scrolling through my phone and making sure all of my pictures were okay and editing titles and I realized these LuLaRoe pants, they're a size TC, so they're tall and curvy, which is like 10 through 18 now, I guess, um, aren't listed. They've just fallen off. I don't know where they went to. I do have a lot of LuLaRoe that I'll probably just add this in with. LuLaRoe has tanked, if you don't know, for the most part. I did really well with it months ago, and now, now I'm just lotting everything together and selling it off as one swift lot because I am done with it. Again, unless you find the right piece. Some are still unicorns, and the solid pieces tend to do pretty okay, especially black leggings. They're Carly's without a t-shirt pocket. It's like a tent dress. If you could find them in cotton or a solid color, still doing okay. This is Sweaty Betty. And I just picked these up. They retail for $195. They're a gray charcoal, charcoal, I can't talk tonight, gray. They're just gray. And they have like a breakaway snap the entire way down. So I'm sure they're for like skiing or snowboarding or some kind of athletic activity. So we'll keep those. I sold these and I used to take returns and I got them back. The lady was, was very nice, but she wanted to return them. She didn't think they fit her body, which is fine. This brand used to do pretty well. It's Diane F-R-E-S, Freeze. She wrote her name in script, so it's gonna be a little hard to see that. But they are a maxi pant. I don't know if you can see the width of that leg, but that's one leg right there. And they're like a micro pleat, stretchy. They're still really pretty. I don't know why somebody else hasn't purchased these. 
I'll have to check if they're on. I'm gonna keep these for a while. Thread up's not gonna take them. The name is just too old. I knew this was gonna happen with these. Vintage Tommy Hilfiger. I cannot sell vintage Tommy Hilfiger. I just need to stop. A few of you gave me really good suggestions and I'm so appreciative of that when you say what I be, should be using in the title or keywords to describe the item. Please do that if you want. That never comes across as offensive. I love hearing those types of things because my brain can only think of what my brain thinks of. Sometimes that's nothing. <laughs> so somebody said to list them as um, cutoffs, which was great. I don't think I can use the term Daisy Dukes, unfortunately. They're short, they're a lighter denim. I don't know. I think I got these cheaper at the bins. They're still on there. They're a size 13, so that's probably like an eight, maybe. I'll keep them for a little bit longer. I'm really wondering, should I send these to thread up? Okay, these are going to thread up. I'm over them. I was over them when I purchased them, honestly. This I've had for a while. This and the Old Navy skirt I purchased at the same time from my half-off Goodwill. So skirts are usually, I think, $4, and so they're $2 there. It's a Target brand, Massimo. And retailed for $20. It's a tie-dye, it's really soft maxi skirt with like a flap front panel i'm gonna send these to thread up too i should probably pull the old navy too i'll leave the old navy massimo ones are getting getting given away though getting given how about that these are zumba pants i should try these on these are cute what size are you zumba pants you're large I think that's gonna be okay. I liked that they had the feel the music kind of um, detail on the back. They've got pockets. I'm totally keeping these. I don't know why these haven't sold, but I'm glad. I'll have to try these on. If they fit me, that'll be a good pair of black pants to wear around the house. This needs donated. I might send this the thread up, but I'm guessing they probably won't take it. Okay. I liked the print, so I'm not even gonna show you the label because look how cute this print is. It's a broomstick skirt. And it says South Seas, it has women and fish and it's tropical and I thought somebody could wear it on the beach or if they're going on vacation or a cruise. So I didn't think it mattered what the brand name was, but clearly it does. This is White Stag, and it's a plus size. It's an 1820. And even though I thought it was cute, I don't think I'm getting, I think I have this priced at $8. So I'm gonna donate this to Thread Up. If they give me something for it, great. If they don't give me something for it, they'll just donate it. Either way, it'll get donated. And this is the last thing, this is a recent find. Here's the label, and I didn't recognize it, so I looked it up. It is made in Italy, it's silk, and these go for retail. These retail for hundreds of dollars. So this was a good size. What size is this? A 50, so I think this is like an extra large in the US, and it's a navy blue with like a nautical rope that's braided into a stripe. It's pleated. It's a classic kind of skirt. I don't know, I think I'll keep this a little bit longer. And that's everything I have in the large and up bins. I don't have many bottoms compared to tops. I love selling skirts, hate selling pants and jeans, so I don't pick up a lot of those unless I can really make a, a big profit. And clearly I shouldn't have picked up some of this. <laughs> but we're gonna do one more bin. I think we're going to do I don't know what we're gonna do. Hold on. Okay, backed you up a little bit and grabbed the dresses bin. And dresses are probably my favorite thing to sell, but I don't know why, what happened. 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I can't find enough or if they're too expensive or they just sell faster. I don't know. So here are the dresses I have. My thread up bag is getting quite big. I'm on bag number two. This I bought because I had to hit a certain coupon. It's Tommy Hilfiger. It's cute. It's seersucker, white and blue, really good condition, size four. I'll keep this for a little bit longer. This is more of a summery dress. Another flax piece. I had a pair of flax pants and this is a flax dress and I do have some watchers on this. I think like four or five watchers. It's a smaller size but it's pretty. It's yellow, kind of spring-like. This I had sold and again this is when I was taking returns which I no longer do on most of my stuff and it's clearly a size medium. She said it didn't fit her, which I get. It's a weird, a weird thing. The label is April Cornell. This label used to do pretty well. And you still might want to look it up and find pieces. This one is like cut on a bias, so it is a weird cut. I get that. It's a raspberry velour with sheer sleeves with embroidery on them. I'll keep this for a little bit longer. Thread up is not going to take that. Actually, thread up won't take a lot of these dresses. Okay, this is Worthington. Worthington is JC Penny. I just like the style. This is a vintage Worthington. So here's the label. It's probably 90s label. And I thought it was gonna be adorable for somebody who's into goth or who just needed a black velour dress for the holidays. It's modest. It has a longer skirt on it. Just a solid black, modest, long dress, but nope. So I'm gonna send this to thread up. We'll see what they do with it. I have a few of those, those floral and fruit dresses here. This one I did just pick up. Oh, and it smells good. Okay. And this brand name is Manor House. So I looked it up. This brand name does not matter at all. It's a black, and I call these jumper dresses. I know jumper means something different <laughs> across the sea, but it's a very long sleeveless dress. It reminds me a little bit of overall, like an overall dress, but Look at that print, come on. Where in the store are you gonna find that print other than a thrift shop? It's so good. It's like somebody made a dress out of somebody's curtains. I love that. It feels so princessy. Not that particular dress, but just making something out of like couch material. And here's another one. This I've had for a while, but I love it. Okay, so this one is actually made in Hawaii, but it doesn't look like a Hawaiian dress. This reminds me of a Laura Ashley 90s dress. It's got the sailor collar that ties in the front. Maybe I'll throw Easter in the title. Wouldn't this be a beautiful Easter dress? Those prints, right? So pretty. I, I wanna wear this. <laughs> This and the peacock hat, come on. Okay, putting the dress down, we're keeping both of those. We're keeping both of the ugly dresses. <laughs> Cause I love it, it's so good, it's so good. I don't even know what this one is. Oh, this was at my favorite thrift store where everybody volunteers and the label is faded. So I'll try to get, try to get it in focus. probably couldn't see that but it's Janice McCarty and when I look this brand name up they were listed for like a hundred and fifty dollars and some of them were selling for a hundred dollars I think I have mine at 80 which is probably too high I'll, I'll lower it but I don't this this seller the seller this dressmaker has a following 
The buttons are cool. It's done in several different fabrics. The back is done in a black and white with a tie. This is definitely like a 90s dress, but for some reason, following. I don't know. I should check on lowering that. This cabbie dress is probably going to thread up. I've had this for a while, and this is their older label. Their newer label is more square, and I put the style in. It's, maybe I'll keep it a little bit longer. It is kind of summery. It's like a citron green trench dress. And then the back has gathering, and there's like a tie in the front. It's like a trench style dress. I don't know. Maybe it is more spring, summer. I'll keep it for a little bit. This one I can't believe hasn't sold. This I found for $5.99 at my boutique Goodwill. And it is anthropology. <laughs> I'm not going to try to pronounce this. And it is brand new with tags. And it retailed for $278 at the Anthropology store, I guess. But again, summary, so I'll keep this for a little bit longer. It's navy blue, it's got like, I do like that it has the two tiers. I'm into the two tier thing. The sweetheart neckline with straps, and then there's a little cutout in the back. It's cute. It is very summery, so we'll keep that for a while. <laughs> I knew I'd find another one of these dresses. This is actually mine. I wore this. I wore this often. But uh, I gained weight and I won't be able to fit it any longer. Okay, so it's another crazy print. It's vintage. I'm guessing like 80s, early 90s. It reminds me of a dress I had when I was in school for like a spring concert where we sang a chorus concert. I loved that dress so much. It had different satin ribbons on the shoulders that hung down. Oh, I love that dress. So it reminded me of that. And I've worn this to retirement communities. I've worn this shopping and I always got compliments, but it's a tiny dress. I mean, not like ridiculously tiny, but it's probably like a four. Here's the point where I should say donate it, but I have, I have too much love of this dress. And what happens if I lose 30 pounds? Then I'll be sad. I mean, I'll not be sad because I've lost weight, but that dress. Okay, I'll keep it one more season. And then if it doesn't sell, I'll get rid of it. I'll have to watch these next time I do this. Next up is another Target brand. I thought this would sell for the holidays. This is so cool. It's Massimo. It is not brand new with tags. It might be brand new, but I listed it as used. It is like a fit and flare dress with blurred lights. Isn't that really pretty? Nobody wanted it. I don't think I had this price too high. I think I had it like $15. What size are you? A large, so... It's not some kind of, you know, extra, extra small petite or anything. Oh, that's a thread up. I'm over that one. This is free, people. I have had it forever. I have had it at different price points. Nobody wants this. Is this a romper or a dress? Okay, so it's the free people that has the little metal plaque. If I didn't feel guilty for using stock photos, this would have sold. But using stock photos is illegal. That's up to you if you use them. I don't use them. Is this a romper? Maybe it sold. Did it sell? What sold? Oh, something else sold. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to give this to thread up. I've had this for a while. It's so cute. Nobody's buying it. Giveaway pile, another thread up item. This dress I bought for $3. 
I bought two of them. One sold. This one did not. This label is Plum Pretty Sugar. Plum Pretty Sugar has a following. It's a website with like bridal photos and that kind of thing. It's plain. I did find the exact print. It's like a little, a little nothing dress. It's right up. This one I'm keeping, this is an anthropology dress. I might take better photos of this one day because this has quite a few watchers. Uh, the brand is Isabella Sinclair, so I'll put a photo in. This is another dress I just got. Love the print. I don't wear yellow or this would be like a great beach cover up for me. Isn't it so sunshiny? Different shades of yellow and almost burnt orange. It's got ties in the back. And the brand name is Flaming Pearl Ink. And she's a keeper. She's a happy keeper. <laughs> this is a dress that's plain and black. And I normally don't pick up plain and black because Black is a nightmare to photograph unless you have the exact right lighting, and I don't. So it says made in France for B-O-T-T-E-G-A. So that B-O-T-T-A-G-A, A-G-A? E-G-A, that brand. So that brand is pretty well known and high priced for purses, however, I cut the little stitches that was holding the label together and somebody stitched over that this was this brand. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's an another last name. And when I looked it up, that name wasn't as thrilling. So this is a black dress. It's got this like shawl thing that comes down on both sides. This is like you'd see at an Italian runway, but most likely those people are not shopping on eBay. It's, uh, it needs to be redonated. Okay, I'm redonating this. I won't miss that. This dress is just sold, and this is one of the dresses I would have said to thread up. It sold for $4.44 or $4.88. It's nothing spectacular. But I'm pretty sure I definitely got this for 50 cents. It's cute, right? It's like a beachy dress. The brand name was Psycho. It's got straps, adjustable straps, so I might have made after taxes and eBay fees and stuff a buck or two. Nothing thrilling. I'm going to put it to the side and package it later though. This is Lucky in Love. This is a tennis dress. I'll insert a photo. And I'm keeping that because I just listed that last week. This is Fabletics. Fabletics, if you don't know, is one of those subscription box type services where they send you a different piece of clothing or a different bra and leggings. But I really liked this. This was at my half off Goodwill. So it would have been, I think their dresses are $5.99. So it would have been $3. It's got a green kind of leaf exotic print. And then the bottom half is just black. And here's the label. It's in excellent condition, which is why I picked it up and pretty and summery, so I'll keep that for a while. This dress I love. This is a turquoise pineapple Hawaiian dress. I'll insert a photo. And I'm keeping this, I just listed this. I should probably put luau in the title if I don't have that already. I don't think I have this listed. I know I don't have this listed. This is Simply Southern. I had two of these, I think. Must have went to auction and I sold one and then the other never got relisted. So this is new. Uh, I purchased, I think, three of them that day. 
I probably paid about three dollars for it. Simply Southern's a decent brand. This is like a nightgown. It doesn't have any of their, it's got the little bit of a logo, but some of them have like big logos or turtles or elephants. This one's just kind of a, a nightgown. So I will put this back on. Yeah, I'll put it back on. Okay, that's the end of dresses and that is the end of today because it is, I think like seven o'clock. It is 6.19, it's not seven o'clock. I napped most of the day. My husband hasn't been feeling well for days and today was just, we just laid there all day. So it was a good day for me, probably not for him because he didn't feel well. But that's everything. I did go shopping at Goodwill this morning. I spent $6, I got virtually nothing. I got like puzzles and glassware and something else. I can't even remember. It wasn't even worth doing a haul. I am planning on going back to the bins this week. We have a friend coming in next week. So when somebody comes in, we kind of flip over the house so they could have their own um, bedroom bathroom and we like stage it a little bit. And that takes a little bit of my energy. And because she's coming in next week, I've been trying to decrease my meds, my pain pills up until then. So that way I can hit those a little bit harder and they'll work better. And that way I won't be in so much pain when she's here. That's the plan. So thank you so much for sticking with me. I will have more thrift hauls soon. I do them as much as I'm able to. You have all been just a wonderful encouragement and thank you for the nice words. I really enjoy learning the process of YouTube and connecting with people. It's really cool who I now recognize, the first name, where they're from, that they're a reseller. So that's a lot of fun too. So thank you for that. Bye.